Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetech4teachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use doodle.com to schedule times for a group meeting. It's a great tool when you have to get a handful of people or more together and get them to agree on a mutual meeting time. So here I am in my Doodle account. I'm already signed in. Let's go ahead and schedule an event. And so the first event we're going to schedule here, we'll just call this our uh, afternoon team meeting. And if you want to choose a location, you can. Uh, let's say we wanted to have this at a, at a restaurant or something. Uh, we can say Patch Pizza. Right? And it's doing a, a little Google Maps search for the location. That's completely optional. Let's say um, we'll discuss issues related to team teaching. Now let's go ahead and choose some dates for our team meeting. We could say we're going to be on Thursday, Friday, or Wednesday. We can fill in some times. So perhaps we're going to have a meeting at 12 p.m., 1 p.m., or 2 p.m. But on Thursday, I'm only available at 1 p.m., 2 p.m., or 3 p.m. And then back on Friday, we'll do 12 p.m., 1 p.m., and 2 p.m. Now we'll just go with the basic poll here and select Next. And we have a couple of ways we can invite people. Uh, we can say that only people who are invited by email can participate in this poll, or we can let anyone who has access to the link participate in the poll. And that's what I'll do here. And so now I have a link to send out to, to folks. We can send that again by email, Facebook it, tweet it, however you want to share it. I'm going to copy that link. And now here in this new incognito window, we'll take a look at how someone would complete the poll. So I've given this link to someone on my team and I want him or her to fill us in. So perhaps Susie is going to fill us in and she's available at 12 p.m. or 3 p.m. tomorrow. And that's the only times that she's available. We we'll hit save. And now here back in my account I can go to the administration link And the administration link will take me in my Doodle account to a number of options, including uh, options for going back in and editing the poll, uh, creating a duplicate of the poll if I need to, deleting it altogether. But I can also go into this table view and see the times that folks have selected. So I can see that Susie has selected 12 p.m. on the 21st and 3 p.m. on the 22nd as her possible meeting times. So that's how you can use doodle.com to schedule meetings. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetech4teachers.com.